In this video we're going to look at some different types of forces and the two categories which all forces can be put into. So all forces can be put into two categories. They are either contact forces or non-contact forces. In contact forces, the object that is putting force onto the other object needs to be in contact with that object. So they need to be touching. In the example of the rugby scrum that we looked earlier, we can see that the two teams are touching each other and pushing on each other. So therefore, this is a contact force. Another contact force was the man pulling the train from our first video. Although he's not directly in contact with the train, he's indirectly in contact through the chain that's connected to the train that he's pulling on. It's connected to both him and the train and he's ex exerting a pull on that train. Another contact force is seen here and for the ball to change direction once it's been bowled, it needs to first come in contact with the bat. So this is another contact force and in this case this is a push. Okay, this is a bit of a tricky one because you can't see where the contact is here. But in air resistance or drag that's causing this paratrooper to slow down, the air is actually in contact with the material of his parachute. As I said, it's a little bit tricky because you can't see the air, but the air is physically in contact, which makes resistance or drag a contact force. Non-contact forces. Now we're going to look at some non-contact forces. Now con non-contact forces don't have to actually touch another object to exert an influence on them. And we refer to this distance as the field of influence. Okay, You can see here this person parachuting. Uh, they are falling to the ground. Although there's nothing actually in contact with them between them and the ground that's pulling them towards the ground, the gravity of the earth is exerting a weight force on them, which is pulling them down. Okay, that's a non-contact force. Another non-contact force is magnetism. In magnetism, the one magnet will pull another magnet or a induced magnet in a metal object. But these magnets don't need to be touching to exert that force. Finally, electrostatic force. In electrostatic force, it again exerts a field of influence, and that field of influence affects objects in its area. Alright, so in this video we've looked at contact forces and non-contact forces where contact forces have to be in direct contact with another object to actually apply force on it. Non-contact forces don't need to be in direct contact and exert force over a field of influence. 